All right, so this is um, now the next video in the series for solving equations. And this one is what happens when you have more than one term in the denominator. And in particular, when the denominator has your variable that you want to solve for. Now, we have seen uh, the variable in the denominator, but those examples in this series of videos had a denominator and it only had one term. Here we have multiple terms. Okay, so it can be two, could be three, whatever it may be. And what I mean by that is, if you look at example one here, and you look in the denominator, so you have one term, and then you have your second term. Okay, remember terms are separated by an addition or a subtraction. And in the second example, again, I have two terms. Okay, so I have one, and then I have two. So what happens in these instances when you have multiple items uh, within the denominator? Okay, because if you want to solve this, we have to try to figure out how to get these variables back into the numerator, back on top. Okay, so I want to tackle these two examples to show you what to do in all of these instances. So let me take first example number one. So I'm going to just copy it down here for us so that we can see it and then we're going to break it down kind of step by step all right so once i notice that there is multiple terms and there's a, a variable within the denominator then i want to get rid of that whole denominator from the bottom okay so i want to get rid of that whole thing now, how do I get rid of it? Well, just like you would get rid of any number, you would have to multiply both sides by exactly the same thing. So we have to multiply both sides, okay, in this case, so that would be 5 minus 2x. Notice I'm just putting it in brackets on both sides. And then the whole denominator is canceled out, just like you would do with a regular number. Now, once you do that, now, then this question becomes much simpler. So notice that we have 5 minus 2x times 17. Okay, so we typically would try to write it in this way. Okay, so I'm going to just cover it like that, equals to 4.2. So now you've gotten rid of that denominator. Okay, and yes, it's still annoying because now you have to get rid of this bracket. So you're going to have to try to distribute this back in and factor it the whole thing out. So 17 times 5, okay, so you can just quickly do that. So 17 times 5, just want to show you how, and then 17 times negative 2, okay, and we have this, and... Okay, now we have gotten rid of the brackets. And if you like, you can watch the video on how to get rid of the brackets, which was part four of the series. So now, once we have this, then this is just a regular question where we can just simply go ahead and solve. So I'm going to just solve this one. So I'm going to move the 85 over. The negative 34x stays here. Remember, I want to collect my like terms. Okay, the sign will change. Okay, so I have that. Okay, and now I have, so f here, let me clear this. So 4.2 minus 85. Okay, so this is negative 80.8 and negative 34x. So next, we want to get rid of that negative 34. So we're going to do that on both sides. So now it's gone. Okay, now I already have that as my answer there waiting. So divided by, okay, negative 34. And again, you can round to whatever your teacher asks you to or, you know, the question asks you to. Okay, I'll just put dot, dot, dot for all those decimals. And that's how you would solve this particular example. Okay, so getting rid of your terms in the denominator is actually not that hard. You have to multiply both sides by them. Okay, so let me now take a look at the second example here, this one. Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here, paste. Okay, and let's work with this example. Okay, so what would we do? Well, we do the same thing. 
So notice I don't want this in the denominator, okay? So I'm gonna multiply both sides, okay, by negative 1.5 plus r, okay? So here, so negative 1.5 plus r, we'll multiply this side, but this will cancel. Now most people don't even write that in there, they just simply move it over on the opposite side. Okay, so this is what we have. And now it's a much cleaner question. So we have 8r plus 4, and then 3 plus 2r equals 2. And now I'm going to have to bring this again. I have to get rid of the brackets okay, within here. So I will do that okay, shortly. But now I have nothing in the denominator. So this question now is basically a regular equation okay, with getting rid of brackets. Okay, then once you get rid of the brackets, you move the terms over with the variable okay, on one side, the ones that do not have the variable on the right-hand side, and then you go ahead and you solve. So this is how you get rid of brackets. All right, so this is it in terms of this particular video. You can check out all the examples that I have done um, and the full series if you like. Thank you for watching. Okay, and remember, help one inspire a million.